A Conservative MP has filmed himself bearing all on a bicycle in order to promote an annual naked charity cycle. Michael Fabricant is aiming to raise money for the St Giles Hospice in his constituency of Litchfield, which he says costs £9 million a year to run. In a video posted online, the 68-year-old rides a rented London bicycle around a park wearing only sunglasses and a silver tie. Want to have a look? Today, I'm launching a campaign to start an annual naked cycle ride in Litchfield. Why? Because we've got the fabulous St Giles Hospice, which looks after over 7,000 people each year. But it costs £9 million to run. And I think a naked cycle ride is a good way of raising money. A naked bike ride from Litchfield to Whittington would be a beautiful thing. I would uncover all sorts of parts that I've never seen before. I'm told that naked cycle riding is both healthy and liberating. Bit like St Giles Hospice, really. And Mr Fabricant joins us now. I'm anxious to look round whether or not he's got any... Oh, yes, he has. Thank goodness for that. Hello to you, Mr Fabricant. Thanks for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. Tell us why you, how you came up with this idea. Well, I've uh, been in various parts around the world, not looking for naked cycle rides, I hasten to add, but where I've encountered naked cycle rides, because it goes on in about 70 different cities around the world. And it just struck me it would be a good way of promoting St Giles Hospice in Litchfield. It covers a large area of the West Midlands, but it's based in Whittington near Litchfield. And I just thought it was a great way to raise money and uh, put up the blood pressure of some of my constituents, maybe. And what about those people who say you're just being an exhibitionist? Well, what's wrong with that if it's all for charity? <laughs> but I must tell you, it was freezing doing that video. We did it in early spring. And uh, you can see the goosebumps on me, and it was terrible. OK, so what's the plan? Um, who, do you want other people to take part with you? Thankfully, you kept your tie on, I, I suppose. <laughs> um, do you want other people to take part with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping we might get 100, 200 people taking part. Every year, you know, we have the sheriff's ride with fully clothed people on horses. So I think a few naked people on bicycles going around Litchfield and maybe ending up in Whittington was a great idea of raising money. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing the organising. So people who know about this sort of thing, if they'd like to make contact with my office, that would be fantastic. Are you always going to be taking part? Not necessarily, but I promise that if it all happens, I'm certainly going to do the first ride. Will you not be a little bit embarrassed in front of your constituencies, literally laid bare? Letting it all hang out, as they say. Well, I have to say that when we recorded that little video, as I said, way back in the spring, it was all so cold, nothing was hanging out, I can tell you. It was... Uh, you, you know, I don't know if you've ever had a tortoise and you know that the head goes back inside the shell. Well, it was a little bit like that. Right, I think that's more information than I'll ever <laughs> need in my whole life. Um, tell me about the hospice, she said quickly. Tell us about the work that they do. No, well, it's marvellous. They look after 7,000 people every year, 80% of them in their own home. People who have got particular dysfunctions and those who have got terminal dysfunctions like cancer. Uh, they've got, I think they were one of the first, if not the first, place in the whole of the country to have a lymphedema clinic, which uh, is very important for those people who've had lymph glands removed. Uh, it's a really great organisation. And as I say, two thirds of the money that costs to run the operation, some £6 million, has to be raised locally through charity.